Hi, Dad. How you doing? Happy birthday to you. Happy 88th birthday to you. Yes, I know pandemic, because of the pandemic, I was unable to send you a card or anything else um, on your first birth date. So I decided to put something together for your um, official birth date, 22nd of April, for those who are unaware. Um, <clears throat> I was going to um, do this for your 90th birthday, but who knows? Only God knows each day as it comes along what is going to happen. So I thought I'll do it now, do it for your 88th birthday. Who knows? Maybe on your 90th, I can be there by your side in reality rather than on a video. And who else? You know, many more may come along. We'll just have to wait and see how it goes. But for now, you enjoy your day. Enjoy this little production. And I love you lots. And hopefully we'll see you on your 90th, if not before, on your 90th. Love you, Dad. Take care and happy birthday again. Mwah. Happy birthday, Dad. You're 87 years young. I am so happy to still have you alive. And here is... Unique. Quoi? Unique quoi? <laughs> and there is unique. So, Dad, happy birthday to you and many, many more. Happy and here is your granddaddy. Your granddaughters want to say a little something real quick to you. Happy birthday, granddad. Sorry, we don't call you very often. <laughs> Be sure to fix that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Dad, we love you. Love you. Take care of yourself. You. And we'll love see you. Happy soon. birthday. Happy birthday happy to birthday. you. Happy birthday. <laughs> Hi Grandad, it's Leisha. I wish you a very happy birthday. I hope you're having a nice day and enjoying the sunshine and hopefully I'll speak to you soon. Happy birthday, Mr. Wilson. Hope you're well. Wishing you many, many more birthdays to come. Love, Sylvia. Take care. Happy birthday, Grandad, and I hope to see you soon because I'm coming to Jamaica this summer. Have the best 88th birthday. Be, be with you soon. Bless up. Love you. Hi, Rez. This is Ray. Rachel wishing you a very happy belated birthday. I hope you had a fantastic day. God's blessings pouring out to you. Stay safe, stay well, and just remember... Happy birthday, Reg. Have a wonderful birthday. Lots of love from Sandra. And keep sweeping up. Love you. Uncle Reg, happy birthday. Hope everything's cool. Love you. Hello, Mr. Wilson. Happy birthday. Hope you had a good one. Stay safe. Lots of love. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mr. Wilson. I hope you had a lovely day. Hope to see you soon. I hope lockdown, COVID, or whatever's going on over there is treating you well. Um, have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. See you soon. See you soon. Hey, Uncle Reg. This is your niece, Vidal. Just saying happy, happy birthday to you. Hope you may live to see many, many more happy ones. And may God richest blessing upon you. Love and kisses always from me and your sister, Elva, with love. Enjoy your special day. We love you. Happy birthday, Mr. Wilson. Hope you're doing well, sir. And I hope you had a wonderful day. Love, Tyler. Your favorite grandson, of course. Things so good, but anyway, happy birthday, sir. Hope you have a wonderful day or had a wonderful day. 
and many more to come, yeah? Hi Uncle Red, how are you? I hope you're doing really, really well. Happy birthday, I hope you have a fantastic day, a wonderfully blessed day. Ru and I love you, miss you, and we hope to see you so, so soon. Bye! Hey Uncle Red, this is Kerry, a.k.a. Kerry. <laughs> Big up yourself, Uncle, on your Earth Strong Day. You know me, I always love you. You know what I love you a long time. Love you always. Big up yourself, man. Hi, Grandad. Happy birthday. I hope you have a really lovely day and I hope you're doing well. I've seen lots of photos and videos of you recently and you're looking well. So I hope you have a wonderful birthday and hopefully speak to you soon. Lots of love, Dana. Happy birthday, Dad. Today is your big day. Hoping it is filled with the things you enjoyed most in life. Have a wonderful day and a fantastic year ahead. Love you, Dad. Happy birthday, Grandpa Wilson. I love you very much. I hope you have a great day despite the pandemic. Bye. Hi, Mr. Will. Happy birthday. Hope you had a really good day. And may God bless you, keep you safe, and good health and strength. And may you live to see many, many more. Lots of love, Dawn. Love you loads. Hi, Grandad. It's Shanna here. Just want to wish you a big happy birthday. I hope you're well and you're staying safe in Jamaica. And I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing you once this pandemic is over. Mwah. Love you lots. Hey, Grandad. It's Kurt. Just wishing you a happy birthday. Uh, wishing you a lot and a lot more. Hopefully to see you soon when this pandemic is over. Have a good one, Grandad. This is from my special collection. Hope you enjoy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear father. Happy birthday to you. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Don't forget to send me the recipe to Long Life. Have a great day. One love, Carlos. This is Janet wishing you a happy, happy birthday. I hope you enjoy your day. Lots of love. May God bless you, keep you well, and bye. Happy birthday, young man. Begin you up on your birthday. Enough love. God is always with you. Thank you for being the father that you are. Supportive to me, and thank you for loving me. Thank you for everything that you have done so far and continue to do. And I pray that God continue to bless you and keep you safe. All right? I love you. Hi, Mr. Wilson. It's Rose here. Wanted to wish you a very happy birthday. I know it's been a while since I last seen you, but I want to send you hugs, kisses, and let you know that when Ray is next coming out, I'll be joining him. Take care. See you soon. Hey, Granddad, it's Rory. Hope you have a great birthday and everything's going well for you. Love from me and Cordell. Dearest Reg, with each birthday, you must enjoy and celebrate every precious moment which make your memories. Nuff, nuff, love. Always. Earn and family. Happy birthday to you, Reg, my beloved husband. I wish you many, many, many more birthday, long life, and good health from your wife. Hi, Grandad. It's Scott, your favorite grandson. I just wanted to wish you a very happy birthday, many, many more happy returns, and I will see you very soon when I come back out to Jamaica. Hey, Anchorage, this is Unit. Just want to wish you a happy 88th birthday, wishing you long life, prosperity. See you later. Happy, happy, happy birthday, Grandad. Cheers to the 12 years and even more while you're aiming and desiring the big 100. We wish you long life, we wish you health, and we wish you happiness. Have a great, great one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grandad. Happy birthday to you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Grandad. I hope you had a lovely, wonderful day. And we pray that you see 
many, many more. Yeah, we want to have that granddad that's like 110 and still talking and giving us jokes. <laughs> Happy birthday, Gladad. I hope you live for another 30 years or so. I want to have a very old great granddad so that he can still give us good. Happy birthday. Happy birthday again, Gladad. Love you. Love you. Take care. Hey, Gladad. It's Shay. Wishing you a happy birthday. Hope everything's all good out there, alright? Right. Hello, Dad. Happy birthday. This is from Cordell Donovan. Cordell is always asking to come and see you, so I hope to come and see you soon and bring him with me. And Donovan and Rico. We love you, you take care. See you soon. This is for my brother Reg. Birthday greetings. Remember that self care is not selfish, it's essential. Remind yourself that you are loved and worthy of love. Happy birthday to you, my dearest brother. God bless. Nobody does it better than KLC. Nobody does it better than Reggie. Than KLC, you can be KFC you know this. <laughs> KFC can make them a kind of t-shirt. Apparently this is where my dad got onto a ship to come to England back in the day in the 60s. This is where they used to get onto the ship. Yeah. You walked across there? Yeah. Is that a bridge? It's not a bridge. Like a pier. Like a pier. Yeah, yeah. 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 walk, you walk. And if you pass off, you walk off. Okay. 
this was my last point. So it, it took us 24 days from here, from here to England. And I was like 23 years old. Yeah. <laughs> the only time we didn't sick is when we leave from here. And our first stop was in Spain. Mm. And we could come off the ship and go and walk for about at least two and a half or two hours. And then when I step off the ship and step on that, I, I was all right. <laughs> but as soon as I get back on the ship and move again, it was 14 days it took us from here to Spain. 14 days. It took when we expected to be land. Man, everybody was up on deck just looking and all you can see is this sky. And every time you hear someone say, Do one light? No light, no. <laughs> they were just hung there. I used to hear that thing from. Happy birthday to you. Happy Okay, Grandad, so we're going to start off when you just started working. At what age? At about oh. 14. 14. Bottom of mines, they call down there, don't arrest. There's a house there, and that gentleman had a shop. Now, to get water, we have to go all the way down to the river. There was no pipes. So we have to carry two pails, full of water, come up, and they had a jump pan outside. Get the water, you pour it in the, in the jump and you, then you went back again and you keep doing trips back and forward till you jump full. Mm -hmm. And then from there you have to go over the bush, they had some goats, mm -hmm. move the goats and bring wood. And then from there you have to, when they get the grocery in St. Anne's Bay, you have to go down and over it and carry it up. And you back or your head. I didn't like it, you know, and it was only two and six months a week. And um, I decided, no, this life is not for me. I know I had the ability to learn trade. I didn't have the education because I didn't go to school a lot. So after I leave that work, I went up to Uncle B workshop mm -hmm. and every morning, every day I would go out and sit down there and he would give me sandpaper and says, rub that wood there, sandpaper it down or scrape or something. And then he said, why don't you just decide to stay with me and learn the trade? Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't like cabinet making, but I decided that I'll do it. In fact, I'll, I work long enough with him that I could make my own furniture, my own chair, my own bed, everything. And then he got this job done in St. In St. James. So we went down to build a house down there. That would make it even worse. I didn't like the to work at all. So I leave this job down there. And on my way up, I saw this man, they call him a furnace. Mm -hmm. He was driving a tractor, plowing the fields. So I was just sitting there on the wall, watching him, him going, driving the tractor up and forward. So when he comes up, he stopped the tractor and he says, what are you sitting there doing? I said, just watching yourself. I was in St. James learning trade, but I don't like it, Captain Tower. I'm going home. He said, what would you like? So I said, I would like to drive the truck. I would like to be a mechanic. He said, all right, come up on the truck. So he drive down and back out forward. And when he comes up, and he said, you like it? I said, yes. He said, you want to learn to drive it? I said, yes. So he um, went and he made a rent. He told me, father, he, I, he saw me sitting out there. And um, he will teach me the job. But then when you went to work, learn trades like that, the parents have to pay and they will charge you 25 pounds. Anyway, my father said, all right, he sent me down there and I started to learn the trade with him. They work in the garage. I learned the mechanic work. And then they give me a job to drive the truck down on the estate. So I worked there for about four or five years. So that's where I started. I was working good money then because you're working in a skiing field with the tractor coupling the trailers and the farmer will come and take it away. And I worked there now and started until Aunt Millie comes along. And I decided that I want to go to go to England. But the money wasn't enough. And she worked with me until we saved the, the fear to 75 pounds. And then that's when I leave yeah. went to England. I leave here when I was 27 years old. The very first job I did there the banana ship that took banana from the West Indies mm -hmm. to England at a place called Save Mount Dock. I worked there to handle the ship for about four days. After that, I went back to the exchange and they sent me to a firm that they go around and build houses as well. And you have to work labor work on it, you know, you um, mix concrete and all sorts. I worked with them for a little while, but I still didn't like it. And after that, no, a friend of mine told me about this big demolition firms and he said he could get a job from me there. But they had to travel. 
that job demolition you know demolition houses or factories anywhere the big factories shut down my firm will buy it out and they go and demolish the building mm-hmm. level it off for them to build something else Oh, uh, I traveled in the union the place in England and I went there. The firm gave us a caravan and then I worked with them until I was there long enough to be a foreman for the firm. And I had 14 men working with me and they gave me a land over to move the caravan about. I worked with them for about 14, 15 years and I packed up that job. And then I get this job now at ICI and then I worked with ICI for 20 years. I took early retirement. So I decided that I will invest the money. and. Um, I took the pub, no regrets when I took it. I worked in the pub for five years. After five years, I bought this house and I decided that I'm coming home. So I retired, I give up the pub and mm-hmm. then come to home. How much you know, Grandad? 87. 87, so what? You would want to die at what age? Uh, 90 something? 90 how much? Me want to think of another 10 years. You have another 10 years to live? Another 10, th- th- no, another 13 years. Give me still having for cultures. Oh, so you have another 13 years to live? Mm. Me father. So what, you want to reach a hundred? Mm-hmm. Oh, I hear you. If I'm still, you know, mobile, mm-hmm. not lying in bed, that people are so attentive to me. Mm-hmm. Even if I can sit up and move from Miranda to Miranda. Mm-hmm. So that's I can sit down and talk to the children and the grandchildren then. All right, so that means, where are we now? We're in 2020. So you're going to die at 2023, Grandad. Mm. So you're going to live that long? Yeah, man. Why you say that? You get the vision. Just that, that, that one of your first step in mind. Oh. That would be good. I didn't have the education, but ambition goes a far way. And when I meet Aunt Millie now, that's where I started. She sit me down and she would we start from ABC again. Now she teach me what I know now comes from her. Mm-hmm. So, so I, I had a, I, I had a very good life. I had, I, I couldn't say that my life in England was rough. Oh. 